All right, swimmers, welcome back to this episode of the Swim Vice Pro Analysis Swim Series. I'm really excited to go through this video breakdown because the entire video is underwater. So you get to see each athlete in their own way and see how their technique is both similar and also unique based on their particular leg of the race. So I'm going to be pointing out kick timing breathing pattern and also body position. So there's a lot of similarities there and also some differences between each athlete that I will point out specifically for each swimmer. So this race is actually the US world record of the 400 meter mixed relay. Caleb Dressel was the one that led the race followed by the second leg, Zach Apple, third leg, Mallory Comerford, and followed by finishing off with Simone Manuel with a time of 3 minutes 19.4 seconds, which beat the previous U.S. record of 3 minutes 19.6 seconds. All right, so the USA team is in lane four, leading with Caleb Dressel. So I'm going to follow this with a freeze frame after the dive. So right here, you can see his body position is right on the surface. He's kicking from his hips with the opposite leg. In this case, it's his left and then landing with his right arm. And you see his right arm is actually pretty deep. If you look at the competitor closer to the camera, they're spearing a bit too high and you can see that he will have an advantage with this throughout this 100 meters, breathing every two. He's actually breathing every two strokes on a 100 meter sprint. He has a six beat kick and right here you can see a great catch with his left arm that's triggered from his right kick. So it's completely connected across the body. So you see he breathes every other stroke and it's timed early and quickly. And you can see it doesn't disrupt his body position. He's got a constant six beat kick, which is why he's swimming hundred meters. That's where you see the six beat kick really come about. And after this turn, I also have it freeze framed right about here. And you can see the spearing depth of his left arm still right under the water. It's not too high. His head position is completely still. His hips are on the surface. He's got great alignment throughout this position. And he maintains that on every stroke. Again, breathing on twos because he needs that oxygen in order to swim this entire sprint. So the next thing I'm going to point out is he's breathing early and he's breathing quickly. So right here, you see that he times it right on the rotation at this freeze frame. And the next one, his head comes back early. All right. So the key points for Caleb is he has a six beat kick. He has proper alignment in the water. He does have a higher turnover rate, but it's working for him because he has a great catch time to his kick. All right, so here's Zach Apple. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze frame it after the dive and you'll see a similarity here compared to Caleb. So right at this point, you see excellent body alignment. You actually see him kicking down with his right leg and his left arm is deep in the water, which you will see in the next freeze frame, his timing out front, which is different from Caleb's. He's taller, so you'll see um, a difference in his timing out front as he actually gets both arms out front as, uh, as much as possible and he's, sprinting for hundred meters and it's working for him. So there's nothing wrong with having that timing out front for a sprint. As you see right here, he's got his right arm landing in and his left arm creating the catch that is completely connected to his right leg kicking down. And that's something to really pay attention to because this is a freestyle sprint. So a high turnover doesn't necessarily mean you're not going to swim fast. So it just depends on what you choose to do, what works for you whether you are swimming a sprint or a distance race, having that timing out front and both arms out front is working for him and to his advantage because he is taller as well and he's getting more distance per stroke. As you see in this freeze frame, again, right leg is kicking down. He's creating that catch with his left arm as his right arm is landing in the water and no disruption in his body position, completely on the surface, 
and also he's kicking from his hips, as you see with Caleb. The, also, the other similarity with Caleb is he breathes every other stroke. He breathes on twos, so he's getting that oxygen that he needs to help him power through this leg of the race. Another point that's similar to Caleb is right about here when he takes that breath early. He's going to get it quickly and return his head back right at this point right here. Boom. Early. Quick and early. All right, now it's on to Mallory Comerfield. So I'm gonna go ahead and freeze frame her after this dive and you're gonna see complete similarity between Zach and Caleb. And you see that her alignment is right on the surface. She's also kicking down with her left leg at this point and her right arm has landed in the water and it is actually deep. So it's not too high on the surface, but it's providing that stability and balance for her to move forward. And she has a powerful six B kick as they all do. And you can see her head position is completely straight. really doesn't move at all. When she gets her breath right here, you can see that she's created a catch with her left arm and kicking down with her right leg. Now Mallory's breathing pattern is actually different. She breathes every four, every four, every six on the first 50 meters. But the final 50 meters, she actually starts to breathe every four strokes until the end when she gives it her all and just holds her breath for the final 10 meters. So as you see at this freeze frame right here, spearing depth of her left arm is down, is actually low. So you can see her get her breath early in this freeze frame. And you also see a nice sleek body position. Her posture is completely straight. And you actually can see that her hand is relaxed as well, her left hand. So again, at this point, you can see that she's actually landing her right arm in while she kicks down with her left leg. And once again, you can see that complete kick timing from the hips that is connected to the opposite side of her body. And that's where the true connection is for all four athletes. So I just wanna point that out because for this 100 meters, they all have a powerful six-speed kick, but the point about six-speed kick is that it's connected and it's not disconnected. All right, so the key similarities is her kick timing, her connection from her hips, as well as her head position and a early breath. The difference is, is her actual timing of her breath or her breathing pattern. Uh, she actually takes longer to take in oxygen and that may work for her. She's also a bit shorter, so she's going to have a higher turnover rate. Um, but you can see the similarities based on those freeze framed images. And now you can watch it full context again for Mallory as well. All right, so Simone Manuel brings it in and I'm gonna go ahead and freeze it, frame it right here after this dive. So you can see again, same thing, complete body position. She's actually really high on the surface there, uh, which is re really working well for her. She's kicking down with the left leg and spearing with her right arm at this particular moment. And you can see her head position stays completely still and neutral. It does not move. It only, when she takes a breath here early, you can see that her right arm is actually pretty deep and it's providing that balance and stability for her to move forward and power through this leg of the race. And yes, as you see here, she has a hip driven six beat kick and she has a bit of a higher turnover as well, but it's working for her because she's allowing that kick to connect with her catch and she has a great catch with her left arm, as you see right here. 
And for her breathing pattern is different from Mallory's. She actually breathes at the very beginning on threes and then follows that with every two, every two, every four, every two, every two, every four. And the final leg, which is the final 50 meters, she continues with that breathing pattern every two, every two, every four, until the final 10 to 15 meters, she goes full out without any breath and just keeps her head as still as possible. Here is a better view of her catch actually formed by her right arm as her left leg is kicking down and she's got a full hold of the water and it's not disrupting her body position at all. She's powering through from her back, not her shoulder. That's where that catch is formed. So I'm gonna replay this in its full context as well so you can watch it in its entirety so you can see not only the catch, but her kick timing and her head position and her body position as well. Here's a final freeze frame just to recap the entire thing that I talked about, which is body line completely straight, timing of the kick connected to her arm. All right, so that concludes this episode of the Swim Vice Pro Analysis Swim Series. I hope this video provided value for your training because it's really useful to watch Olympic athletes go through the stroke so that you can take key points and implement them into your own practice. And you can also see how much how similar all four of their strokes are together, but also the slight differences that they have with breathing pattern and also stroke rate so it just depends on your height it depends on what works for you but the main thing is to watch this in its full context so you can see how similar all of them are so if you're interested in learning more and want more swim tips for your training definitely subscribe to our newsletter at swimvice.com all right swimmers if you have any questions be sure to drop a comment below and i will answer them as soon as i can all right swimmers enjoy your practice and i will see you all next week